my channel my name is Kaleen and I'm happy that you are here that you have clicked on this video so that not only can we get to know each other but we can glorify and praise the Lord for everything that he does for us the Lord does so much for us that we don't even know or can't even comprehend sometimes we just go through life doing our daily business and sometimes we just don't even know what God is protecting us from even when we deny him reject him ignore him like we just don't realize how much he's doing in the back and how much he continues to do for us every single day and this is where my testimony comes in and i'm just so fired up to be able to do this because testimonies are so powerful they have the ability to transform someone else else like just by listening to your journey your journey to christ your journey before jesus just by listening to that you know you can really inspire someone to have a breakthrough you can inspire someone to think wow if they can get through it if god can do that for their life can you imagine what he can do for me So back then I was really trying to just cover up and mask off a lot of the things that I was feeling and thinking, a lot of past memories resurfacing, I already said that right, but you know, when you're really low and depressed and just full of darkness and in the dark, a lot of things just cover you up, not good things, like not the light, you're just trapped in darkness and a lot of the times when i was younger nobody knows this to be honest like they'll be so shocked to hear this like what that's what you were going through we didn't even know this like a lot of the times like after school when it would start getting dark i would sit in the dark in my room a lot of the times and sometimes i would cry other times i would just sit there staring into thin air like staring at the wall because i just felt so blank blonde and emotionless and a lot of it started happening after my first relationship i just started putting on this face um this mask on my face that i was always happy and joyful and i just didn't care about life like nothing could phase me i thought inside i was dead y'all i was so dead you guys i was gone i was gone and i used to say this like if people knew the real me they would hate me like stuff like that to myself I would oh god i would just think so negative negatively to myself and all of that mixed with puberty you know you're going through like your teen years um hormones my periods were about to start it was around that time as well like reaching like entering into womanhood ah oh, all of that mixed in with all the things that are happening it was just not a good mix and without anyone to like really guide you and show you the way you're probably watching where was your mom you know where was your dad they're working <laughs> they're providing for us <laughs> people are like me you know making sure that i have a future <laughs> but here's me out here like coming to a point excuse me where i'm almost losing that future because of suicidal thoughts um the need to want and the urge to want to self-harm myself when i was by myself um you know the need to escape uh and wanting to just i don't know dive into dive into a river and drown myself find a way to hang myself like i used to search things like a hundred ways to die um i used to search things like a like a hundred easy ways to die because <laughs> you know you're gonna do like any pain <laughs> emotional pain i was addicted to but physical pain won't catch me there so i used to try and find like you know easy way to die so that i don't feel any pain <laughs> but it looks like there was no other way and there's you know i found um what's it called oh, i can't find the word but you know when they give you an injection for you to die that's what i wanted like when i found out there was such a thing i was like i want to i want that and i found out it's in sweden or something and i was like okay when i get old enough i'm gonna travel to sweden and i'm gonna take this injection so i can die <laughs> I know I'm laughing right now, but it was it was sad. It was those were really sad, dead, depressing days. But that doesn't mean that I didn't have good days. That didn't mean that I didn't have good friends um, that I had around me that would just brighten up my day. That would just make that difference. I didn't talk to them about a lot of the dark stuff that was going on inside of me and happening in the background. But 
just being around them allowed me to really see the light inside of them so they were probably going through dark stuff in their lives also and I, that I didn't know about but at the time I was just so self-focused on how um, lost I am and I was um, I, I wanted anything to feel something because I just didn't have any emotions and when you're at that age 14 15 you're feeling like that you know people think you're over exaggerating people think you're being that way for attention people think um you're misbehaving because people think you're just at that age where you just misbehave you're going through puberty you'll grow out of it um you know you don't really feel like that why do you feel like that why are you saying that for yourself stuff like that and it just does not help so i kept it in because i lost the people as well that were going through that i put up like yeah yeah you're there also <laughs> yeah you're there also a lot of the people really went down on them like say the attention seeking um why would they think that about themselves do they, you know they just want to be seen like stuff like that and i that uh, that would kill me inside because i would be like wow i can't even talk you know i can't even express myself also because i'm i'm also them <laughs> you know and i used to listen so i started listening to a lot of rock uh, I, I loved rock when I was younger. Oh my God, Evan Essence, Within Temptation, Linkin Park. <laughs> I loved um, rock when I was younger, and I started listening to that secretly. And I used to watch a lot of dark anime, like a lot of gruesome dark anime with a lot of like um, death and um, you know demonic stuff, crazy stuff. But it just made me feel good in a moment, and it made me feel alive i think the only thing that i actually felt alive was watching anime and that's when like things like hentai started kicking in <laughs> oh my god that's another story for another day but just a quick overall brief on the hentai so when that started sneaking in you know like i was so shocked <laughs> like what is this <laughs> what is this at first i watched it for the storylines and the plots because they were just so messed up like so crazy but then also the, the action used to like draw me in and i think that's when i started discovering porn i like discovered it through hentai but i just didn't like porn i didn't like human porn i liked hentai you know <laughs> watching anime get at it and yeah that's that just twists your head because it's just on a whole nother level so i started reading like yuri mangas and like hentai mangas like girls and girls mangas boys with boys mangas and i used to call them forbidden love so like forbidden love type mangas i used to be into I secretly i didn't want anyone to know you know <laughs> like i never let anyone know to be honest until now um yeah i used to be into that so that was also in the mix around 16 years old um like we're coming to the end of like our gcses and stuff i end up meeting my second boyfriend oh my goodness <laughs> this guy i'm never gonna bash him because to be honest with you i i did like him a lot and to this day when i look back when i actually do look back yeah a lot of it was definitely me i was definitely the problem but a lot of it that doesn't mean that he didn't have his own issues and that doesn't mean that um, a lot of the things that went down in that relationship wasn't destructive towards me not because we argued or had or fights that much uh, but mainly because I just wasn't ready for a lot of things that were going on and back then I didn't know how to express myself Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't know how to express myself I didn't know how um, to properly engage in conversation to be honest with you that's number one i didn't know i didn't even know how to describe my own feelings to even say them i was angry at him i didn't want to say it because i didn't want to you know cause any problems i just didn't know how to i just didn't know how to communicate properly or communicate my feelings and thoughts um, to the people that i loved the most and to be honest i think if i had been more mature around that time i was 16 we just say but mature around that time i mean there are other 16 year olds that are mature but mature around that time um and more self-aware i think that relationship could have gone a little bit far um than it actually did because in terms of like being promiscuous 
I was introduced to that. Like I know I did a lot of things with like my first boyfriend, but with my second boyfriend, like I was introduced into a whole everything that I used to read and watch from like manga and anime. It was it was open up to me and I wasn't ready for it, but I pretended that I was and after like some time I just I just didn't like it because I just wasn't comfortable with myself. Let me just say I wasn't comfortable with the situation. Like, wow, this is these are the things that grown ups do. Like, what? <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna be doing this. Like, that's not what I want. Like, that's not why I got with the guy in the first place. I mean, I got with the guy because I liked the guy and I thought he was like really cute and really friendly. Um, and I just wanted to keep it PG 13, deep inside. That's all I wanted until like I was married. <laughs> I've always wanted to be just that after I was married. But obviously, you're growing up, the world is there platter full of sin for you to go and enjoy because you're just not in that relationship with God to know what to do and what not to do um yeah so I do like the guy he was a good guy um <laughs> yeah but god later on who knew that that relationship that relationship was the one relationship I can say yeah I love my lesson <laughs> like I I got burned like not not like um, STD type burned like burned as in like fire by a lot of people betrayed by a lot of people that I never really thought would be the ones to betray me um people that I love like genuinely loved and adored and admired uh, I even almost lost like my best friend like someone who I cherished with everything I remember there was a week um, I prayed to God, like, God, like, this is the first time he actually prayed ever properly, ever, like, ever. Um, I prayed to God, like, God, if there's any fake friends around me, anyone who's not meant to be in my life, get rid of them. Because that week, oh God, the things I had found out at the beginning of that week weakened my spirit, weakened my mind, my soul, my emotions, you know, and the person that had told me these certain things about um what was going on behind my back after this relationship you know whether they were true or not things like oh how like one of my friends one of my best friends got pregnant with him like the guy who's not my the, the my second boyfriend who was my ex at the time uh then she, he, she got pregnant with him and stuff like oh jesus <laughs> it was a mess that's another story for another day but like you're 16 and you're hearing this what do you do like these are the people you love you, you cherish like you know on one hand you're about to lose everything all your friends um your reputation <laughs> for being like a bad you know at the time <laughs> my reputation the reputation i had in my mind <laughs> but yeah like you, you're about to lose your friends you know the people that you saw as your light the people that you put your trust in that brought you joy in like that gave you a reason to want to get up in the morning and go to school that gave you a reason to want to get up in the mornings and you know live life you're about to lose them but on the other hand if what this person had said was supposed to be my friend at the time is true they have really betrayed you they have walked all over you they have treated you like a fool and you're there like feeling sick with yourself because you don't know what to do and i didn't know how to handle these situations once again like what are you supposed to do i'm 16. oh that week i i didn't i hardly ate my best friend was in kenya at the time and <laughs> oh and she came and she was like all hyped up it was crazy and it was in the end it was handled accordingly like it's supposed to happen and god really acted that was the first time i ever saw god move in my life um he really took the will after i prayed that prayer of god take control like whoever is not meant to be in my life remove them any false friends get rid of them after that prayer that whole week god was clearing out my closet everybody was chucked out everybody was kicked off like i lost all my friends that week i had like actually i can't say all i had like two or three friends left but out of the majority of friends i had <laughs> and really thought they were my friends they were they disappeared even friends who were not involved in the situation that was going on they were cleared out so <laughs> i was so depressed i was like wow <laughs> 
these guys oh wow so much for like having all these friends after that week was i'm really alone now i'm such a loser nobody likes me nobody loves me you know i'm i'm fake um you know i'm such a fake person i fake smile for everyone um i'm so suicidal i'm i'm i'm, I'm disgusting um you know and i hate and i started hating a lot of things about myself that relationship was it ended toxic and guess what i did i bought it all up again <laughs> another thing not to handle or to solve or to even go to god and just lay it all down and cast all my anxieties on the lord and truly just say lord i can't take control of my life like i just want you and just to walk in your presence i'm tired of this life but how could i do that if i didn't know who jesus is i actually didn't i knew there was a god but i didn't know who jesus was i didn't even know he was the son of god i didn't know we even had a savior and i was born in a christian household these are the things that were missing from my life these are the things that i wasn't taught growing up yes i went to church yes i listened to all the sermons but did i ever hear the word jesus at the time not that i know of maybe they did say it and it swooped my mind because every time i was in church i was a cynic oh my god i hated church a lot of the time i hated the people speaking in church i had to pretend to like everyone um but i did enjoy the words though like you know when you're in church even if you hate it the word still gets to you it still penetrates your soul you may not even like realize it but when you leave church felt something when i was in there i don't know what it is i kind of want to feel it again but i still don't want to go to church <laughs> back to um 16 so that was 16 17 that was the time i really saw god move in my life and we were going into like college at that time and in terms of spirituality i was he being heavily involved in like things of witchcraft maybe not like um typical witchcraft stuff that who knows maybe other people have done but like subtle witch st subtle witchcraft stuff that you don't even know is witchcraft anything to do with like crystals um mood rings um horoscopes meditation chakra all, all of that stuff like um just oh, jesus law of attraction all of that it's witchcraft you don't know it like when it comes to things of the darkness it will never introduce itself as the dark it will always come to you as the light and that was what's going on and i felt and i felt like with one of my good friends you know that i loved very dearly even though we did fall out and went separate ways she's now dead i still appreciate the fallout because when i think back if she wasn't there to call me out on my crap <laughs> if she was meant to call me out on the things that i was doing like like all the meditation and stuff all the new age stuff basically if she didn't call me out like you know you're you're walking in darkness these are things of the devil da, 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 da. like if she didn't call me out like that even though i was like i don't know what you're talking about my life is improving your life is still the same um i stopped drinking i stopped smoking i like my runner and stuff and you're still doing stuff like that and you call yourself a christian i'm a christian i do all these things and my life is improving but yours isn't <laughs> like that's that was my mentality because my life was changing and it was improving and everything that i manifested and and worked towards and created in my mind my reality was coming my truth and i just saw that as what life like really should be about you know like that, that mystic energy that was always around me like weird things always happening around me always working out for my good and not because it came from god or anything <laughs>